So the big mystery, of course, in mathematics is uh, uh, what's it all about? Math is, there's a certain degree of mystery here because it's not empirical. It can't, it's not going to be uh, revised in the face of um, anything further uh, that we're going to learn about the world. That's why mathematicians are cheap to hire. They don't require observatories. They don't require laboratories. It's all in, you know, in the cranium. And it's done a priori, uh, a, a, a proof from principles, from first principles. And so the question is, how did we get invited to join this exclusive cognitive club? How do the likes of us have this kind of certainty? Um, are we just making it up? Are these just stipulated rules? Is it just a higher form of chess? That was the formalist school. Or is it descriptive of something? Gödel tried to put forth a theorem, a mathematically proved theorem, rigorously proved, that would address this meta-mathematical question. Mm -hmm. um, here's what it actually says. I mean, there are two of them. And the, the second one follows as a corollary from the first. So here's the first. Um, in any formal system. Tell us what a formal system is. A formal <laughs> system is something that is stipulated by rules. You. Um, you stipulate the axioms, you, I mean, you stipulate the alphabet, here's the alphabet of this thing, you stipulate how you can combine uh, the uh, alphabet so into baseball meaningful is things. Formal, baseball is a formal system. Yeah, and you don't worry about what it all means. It's mm -hmm. something that's purely computational, a formal system is something that's mechanical, it's rules, it could be programmed into a, a computer, perhaps. Um, it's, it's a purely computational, mechanical way, and you don't have to worry about what, what it all means. That's a very vague, informal uh, description of what a formal system is. In any formal system, um, and what formalism wanted to do was to reduce all of mathematics to formal systems, uh, to just show it's just a purely mechanical thing following from stipulated rules. OK, Gödel's first incompleteness theorem. In any formal system, that is rich enough to express arithmetic, there will exist a proposition which is, you can express, which is undecidable, meaning neither it nor its negation can be proved in that system. Um, an, uh, uh, another way of say, saying this, uh, a little more controversial, is that in any formal system rich enough to express arithmetic, there are true propositions that can't be proved. Um, the second incompleteness theorem, which is a corollary of the first, says one of the things that you can't prove in a formal system is the consistency of that system. Um, and consistency, again, informally, what this means, a system is inconsistent if you can uh, prove for some proposition P, both P and not P. Uh, that is an inconsistent. Mm -hmm. Uh, system. Inconsistent systems are useless um, because anything at all follows from a contradiction. So if you've got a system that can prove a contradiction, you can prove absolutely anything. You know, the existence of God, I mean anything. You can just prove anything from an inconsistent system. So Gödel's second incompleteness theorem saying that within a system you can never prove the consistency of that system. Um, really uh, was, a, was a blow to formalism. It